Hi students, let us continue with the concept paging. So in the previous video, I just given an introduction of paging. So that is a non-contiguous memory location. So what is a virtual memory and how the pages will be stored in memory. So the pages will stored okay in a non-continuous memory location so whereas the frames will be divided uh, storing in the main memory with the fixed size so here you have to note that the size of frame the size of the frame kept same as it is same as size of page so always remember that the size of frame should be equal to the size of page so that it can avoid if you do like it we can avoid external fragmentation external fragmentation so whatever the size of frame that that size of frame is always equal to the size of page means then there, there should no no external fragmentation so let me take one example here so let us take this is process p so the this is completely one process which is present in the uh, main memory okay whatever the process uh, so you just take it as a logical uh, logical memory so here the process is this this complete process is divided into pages the process is divided into pages so first 100 bytes second 100 bytes so one process is divided into 100 bytes so up to so on so this process is divided into pages so this you call it as page 1 this is page 0 page 1 page 2 up to page n so I think you understand the concept of page so in the process in a single process we are dividing the slots like the fixed sizes so that is the pages so these pages have to store in main memory so how it is possible so this is a main memory so here the operating system is there now here the process p process p page 4 and here f naught f1 or the frames so these are the so if you're talking about in the main memory the main memory related to the frames and this is a, a logical memory so whatever the virtual memory that there is a divided into pages whatever the data that we are sending from virtual memory to main memory so that will be sent in the form of pages and actually the main memory is divided into frames frame 0 frame 1 and here the process here it stores the page 0 f2 and process p page 2 f3 and page 1 here f4 and like that so divided into up to pages for the further operations up to pn so now this page 0 stored in here in frame 2 and page 1 come to frame stored in frame 4 and page 2 stored in frame frame 3 and after that whenever the operation is over if so if you want to make the main memory free you can swap the data into secondary memory so this is a secondary memory which holds the data which is not uh, used frequently so just like a disk uh, so whenever the process is over again you can swap back to main memory Whenever the main memory is free, you just swap back to the main memory. So, this is how the paging concept will be done. So, first the process, one process we have taken, that process will be divided into pages and pages will be stored in the main memory and becomes a frames now here. So, it occupies the frames and these frames, uh, we are just accessing the frames. Uh, now, let us see the address translation. So, how the address translation will be done in paging concept address translation so
So in address translation, the page address is logical address. So I said the page address, whatever we are showing, storing the pages, the page address is logical address. And represented by, and represented by logical address is equal to page number plus page offset. So, this you have to remember that the logical address is always consisting of page number plus page offset. And coming to the frame. Frame address is called physical address because we are storing that frames. Uh, we are dividing the main memory into frames. So, the main memory is nothing but it is having the physically installed memory that frame address is called physical address and is represented by represented by physical address is equal to frame number plus page offset so here not the frame offset this is the page offset So, physical address is equal to frame number plus page offset. Logical address is equal to page number plus page offset. So, a data structure called page map table uh, is used to keep tracks of relatively relation between a page of a process to a frame in physical memory. So, just I will uh, take a simple example here. Uh, suppose this is a CPU. This is CPU. The CPU sending a process that is a logical address the cpu is sending the logical address with page number and offset page number and page offset so this page number and page offset will be stored in page map table this you call it as page map table so in page map table you are having the page number and the frame number so with the help of this it again goes to so this comes to the physical physical address frame number so the logical address is converted into physical address so with the help of this page number so there is a relation whenever the page number that the related frame will be there that will be moved to here and with the help of this we are storing in main memory so this is a main memory first operating system and f0 frame 1 frame 1 frame 2 frame 3 up to frame n so this is how uh, the concept address translations will be done from the cpu we are taking this is the logical address and here when you want to access the main memory you have to convert it into physical address so, whatever the data that we are taking, uh, the process, this is a process P. So, we are taking in the logical and it's stored in the page map table. With the help of the page map table, we converted into physical address with uh, and send the data relating to frame number and offset and that will be stored in main memory. So, here when system allocates a frame to any page, it translates this logical address into physical address and create entry into page table which is to be used throughout the execution of the program okay i hope you understand uh, let me take a simple example for this so that uh, you understand what exactly i am saying here suppose this is the page this is the page and this is offset again the page number frame number page number frame number is present in page table like this and again the frame number and the offset okay suppose if i want to suppose let me write here frame offset suppose the page number is 3 and the offset address 428 now coming to the page table 
so in the page table the page number 0 1 2 3 are there and the frames numbers are related 1 16 7 28 or there so by seeing this page number the control will come to this page page 3 so here the 478 is offset here 428 and the 20 is there so by seeing the offset the controller first come to this offset which is present in the physical address so now this page number coming to this frame so this is a logical ad physical address so the 20 frame number and 428 is a offset so whatever the page and offset the 3 and 48 is converted into 20 and 48 so this is how the conversion will be done the page and of the offset the paging concept will come like so let me take one example the, again uh, suppose this is a main memory my main aim is to explain about the pages paging and framing 0 1 2 3 4 5 so this is a main memory and here starts from frame 0 this is frame 0 so the main memory is divided into frames frame 0 1 2 3 up to 5 so again now the main memory in each frame we are storing a data a0 a1 a2 and this is all free space now again in the main memory i am storing another data in the frames a0 a1 a2 so it occupies the next free space b0 b1 b2 and the space will be there so here i store i lo load a load process a and here i load process b now again i want to load process c a0 a1 a2 b0 b1 b2 c0 c1 c2 so here i load c so i load process a process b process c now i want to swap out of the b whatever the b this is there i want to swap out because there is no free space here uh, the b i'm not using so i want to just swap out that a0 a1 and a2 and b0 b1 b2 space is remaining here b0 b1 b2 c0 c1 c2 so this will be unused here so what i done here i swapped swap out b to disk means to the secondary memory i just swap out b to disk then the freed memory can be used by another process so whatever the free memory here it is there it can be used by another process so now, now again now i want to load process d so this is the main memory i want to load process d but process d i am having d0 d1 d2 d3 so four uh, frames will be there so how it is possible so this is a0 a1 a2 it occupies the space which is uh, free here d0 d1 d2 so up to d2 it can fit here c0 c1 c2 again d3 will occupy here so there is a chance here if you divide the main memory into frames so whenever the process is not fitting here you can split that process and you are you can store in another frame so this is d and this is d so i divided this complete process into two partitions so this is this is uh, the three frames will occupy uh, here and the remaining frame will occupy in the next uh, location so this is a concept of paging and framing okay and coming to the advantages and disadvantages here is 
uh, paging reduces external fragmentation so that is a main concept of here why we are using this paging concept to reduce external fragmentation how can it reduce external fragmentation because uh, the number of pages should be always equal to the number of frames so that uh, so that it uh, reduces the fragmentation external fragmentation so advantages and disadvantages first one is paging reduces external fragmentation uh, but still it suffers from internal fragmentation so this is the disadvantage but still suffer from internal fragmentation paging is simple to implement and uh, assumed as an efficient memory management it is simple to implement due to equal size of pages and frames swapping becomes very easy swapping becomes very easy because of uh, equal sizes of pages and frames and page variable requires extra memory space so may not be good for system having small rams so it is not suitable for small rams it is not suitable for small rams so this is about the concept of paging thank you